Welcome to my humble abode. We are in Japan today. Wait a minute, no, we're in North Carolina, Holly Springs. But look at this amazing display of Okami Cherry. Welcome everyone. I just broke my leg. No, I didn't. Thank you for joining us today. Outdoor Inspirations. I'm Kevin and just look at this amazing cherry tree above me. It's so, so pretty. And Blake just got nailed. Um, this is a Okami cherry and it is an early spring blooming ornamental tree to add to your landscape project. And you know, beside me, I've got all these shrubs. And that's something neat with uh, plants and trees is you can combine, combine? Uh-oh, no, it's uh, you can combine different levels of plants and an Okami cherry is a great plant to add some interest below it. This is an ornamental tree, so it's gonna get 20 to 30 feet tall. And this is a nice, nice pink. It's a very meaty, meaty pink. Is that a word? It's medium medium pink and we are two days away from spring that's probably a lie it's probably a week away but okami cherries is a very early spring blooming tree and we're right at the cusp of spring just a beautiful display the flowers last for weeks you know you're getting a very awesome display for weeks at a time there until it will go into a foliage which is a green foliage and then it's going to be green and ornamental for the rest of the season until you get into blooming time again. As a cherry tree, it doesn't have cherries. It's an ornamental tree, so it's, it's fruitless. Cherry trees have Kwanzan, Yoshino. There's a lot of different varieties of cherry tree, and we love them all, most of them. We use a lot of those. But I just wanted to stop and show you this amazing Okami cherry which doesn't get overly huge and you can add that to a lot of varieties around your home and landscape so next time guys we love you and take care of those plants they will take care of you